The beauty of this house is that the exterior is actually in pretty good shape. I want to turn you around and show you what I have to do out here. Good news is it's not a ton and I think it'll make a big difference for curb appeal. more of these handles and things to remove. I'm gonna repaint the porch. I don't love this maroon color. I think a nice subtle gray will make a big difference. I think if all of these shutters get a coat of black paint, that'll make all the difference in the world. Today I'm on the front porch and my goal is to replace that window box that's on the other side of the lattice. I get it, it's for privacy. I think it just kind of gets in the way and feels a little bulky and I would love this front porch to be lighter and brighter. So I'm gonna take those down, clean out the window box. It's gonna make a big difference. It's funny, there've been so many moments of this makeover where just removing or undoing some of the things from the previous homeowners have felt so good. And something about this weird plastic lattice on the side of the porch was one of those moments. It was screwed in all around the porch and so I had to figure out how to unscrew it. Of course, some of the screws were stripped because they weren't the right type of screws, so they had rusted. Getting the lattice off, it just made the porch feel sunnier, not as fussy. If anyone has any ideas for what I can do with three or four panels of plastic lattice, leave me a comment, let me know. There were a lot of little projects in this house that felt sort of silly in the moment because they were so small, but for me, it just felt like such a big deal. And something about this window box was one of those. The previous window box was just rotted and ugly and it was filled with weeds and getting rid of it to replace it with an all weather, beautiful white window box that I filled with pretty colorful flowers. It, I don't know, it just felt really good. I, this all was happening long before a lot of the other work in the house, so this was kind of a win for me when I was in the weeds with wallpaper and demo and stuff like that. So yeah, I really like this one little window box. There are a lot of things that I would love to do, but at some point, I'm just not gonna get my money back. For example, I don't love that big bush out front, but it is in beautiful shape. It is lush, it is green, and once I remove it, that is a lot of landscaping to replace. So the compromise for me was just to put a little row of hydrangeas that will fill in and create another level in front of that yew bush, and I think that will be terrific. Now that the landscaping is a little bit better, it is time to move on to the porch itself. I have my pressure washer ready because I'm gonna paint this thing, so I need to clean it first. I'm also gonna take down those numbers. I'm gonna replace them with something a little bit more modern and chic. And I am so excited to get the shutters out of the way. These are just plastic shutters, and I could probably just get rid of them, but I actually like the little bit of decorative detail that they add. I'm gonna spray paint them just to make them feel a little bit more modern and up to date. I'm going easy with the pressure washer. I don't want to dislodge anything major. My goal with this porch is just to sand it down so I can repaint it and essentially change the color. It is in pretty good shape, but again, I don't wanna be replacing boards if I don't have to. I lightly sanded just to rough up the surface for paint. That little brush you see me using just attaches right to my drill, and I'm using that to help scrub down the porch with a porch cleaner that I have used before just to get rid of any residual dirt and grime. This is my spray paint station so that is the mailbox. I'm covering it with a heavy-duty Rust-Oleum enamel that will hold up to just about anything. And then these are all the shutters. What you can't see, because apparently I have never set up a tripod before, is that I am wiping down all of my shutters with white vinegar. I have also pressure washed them, so these should be really ready to accept paint. Here I am going over it with my same black Rust-Oleum enamel spray paint. Again, this should hold up to the elements and be the perfect paint for this. And the black is already looking better. <laughs> While the shutters were drying in the sun, I took my sander to the front door. What I have not shown you is that they didn't paint the front door with the right paint, so I had to spend hours peeling off the latex paint that they had put on over the oil paint. 
<gasps> what you're watching me do is prime it with an oil-based primer. You can't be too careful. So hopefully this will be the right combo of paint and it will actually stick. While I was spray painting the shutters and painting the front door, the front porch dried. So now I am going back and I am using my favorite deck over paint from Bare. It's a really thick paint, so I have found that it's honestly just easier to use a paintbrush for the whole thing. And while I was painting the deck, my front door paint dried. So I wanted to quickly give it a coat of paint so I could wrap up for the day. This blue is perfection. I will leave the name of it in the video description because of course I can't remember what it was. It has the name ocean or sea or something like that in it. And it felt fitting because this little neighborhood has sort of a beachy vibe to it. And I just am crazy about it. I might even use it on my own front door at home, even though we do not live in a community that has a beachy vibe. The last step of the front porch is to literally replace the steps. The front steps of the flip house are actually an all weather ASIC material. So I couldn't just paint over them. So I am replacing them. I found a similar gray all weather material at the Home Depot and I'm just swapping them out here. My front porch is looking so much better, but there is one eyesore that I just can't ignore. And that is this door. It doesn't look awful from the inside. On the outside, it just looks old and dated. So I have a new one right here. I've never replaced a screen door, so I'm going to try it. So that's what my project is. Oh. Someone was just walking by. <laughs> Someone was just walking by, saw me recording. One of the trickier things with this house flip is that there are a lot of things like this screen door that are actually okay quality they just feel dated and a little bit old so i think that it will go a long way to replace that it's funny with a lot of these projects when i am removing something that technically works perfectly well like this storm door i get worried that i'm opening up an entire can of worms and i'll have to like reframe the whole door or something thankfully the storm door came off perfectly easily and i think i can swap it out with no big deal also, you would think I have never recorded a single video in my life because what is up with this angle? This is what the new storm door looks like. I was able to pick this up at the Home Depot. I think it'll be so much better. I've never done a storm door, so I spent a lot of time reading the directions. Okay. <laughs> so it's taking all my willpower not to do this. It's meant to be a very simple, like you line up the hinge with the door and the holes aren't lining up. I know there's a lot of jokes there. The holes aren't lining up. Anyway, I have a contractor that's helping me with some work around here, and he said he would do it tomorrow. So I'm just gonna leave it for him. Even though I want it to be finished so badly, I'm gonna leave it for him. I have a lot of really beautiful new lights to put into this house. This one I actually found at the ReStore, and I think it is a perfect size. It's a perfect contemporary feel. So I swapped that out. Originally, I was also planning to paint that ceiling, but a good thing about this house is that it has been completely recovered with sort of a vinyl metal siding. So it is super durable and holds up to the weather, but I didn't know how to get into that with painting. So I'm just leaving it alone. The white is perfectly fine. Here's another masterful angle. I am putting the shutters back up. They went back up super easily and the black is so much better. My contractor was able to get the storm door in place. He confirmed that the holes were just drilled in the wrong place. So he put it up and it looks so much better. I like that there is more glass so you can see through the door more easily and it just feels new and fresh whereas the other one just felt a little bit old fashioned and dingy. I just finished up a Glowforge campaign where I made those adorable keychains. I'm a little bit obsessed with them but I just think it is the perfect way to symbolize this new fresh, inviting exterior. Three cheers for curb appeal, am I right? I'm so pleased with the gray on the steps and the porch itself. Again, that maroon color just felt old fashioned and a little dreary and dull. And this gray feels fresh. It matches the blue door beautifully. I'm not gonna furnish the whole house, but there was something about having a bench on this front porch that I just, I needed to see. The black shutters, the black mailbox, the new numbers. It is just incredible what a little bit of elbow grease has done to the front of this house. She's looking good, you guys. 
Ever since I first stepped foot in this house, I have been imagining how the front would look with just a few small cosmetic changes. And it is so cool to pull up now and see all of those changes in action. I wanted to get rid of the red porch. I have done that. I wanted to paint the shutters. I have done that. New lighting makes all the difference in the world. And then just a new front door color, new numbers, not a lot of major changes, but it makes such a big impact in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week. I have finished the patio, but I'm waiting for brand approval on that. Spoiler, it looks so super cute. So you'll have to tune in next time and see what I have to share for you then. Bye everyone.